Hello, my name is Joel Z. Williams, and the purpose of this lecture is to teach poor people how to deal with bed bugs. If you have bed bugs, you're probably fighting an uphill fight to get some sleep. People are probably telling you that you're needing to hire a professional pest control off operator or PCO in order to eradicate this pest. That's bullshit. If you catch this early enough, there is something you can do. First off, a little history of the bed bug. Bed bugs have been written about going back as far as Egypt, so we know uh, of their existence at least 5,000 years ago. Uh, they are a member of the arthropod family, which means they have an exoskeleton, very similar to cricket, roach, tick. Uh, to date, we are not aware that bed bugs uh, are a vector for any disease. Uh, the bites typically um, happen between the hours of midnight and three o'clock, that's when they're most active. Bed bugs are paper thin when when not full with blood, uh, which makes them uh, they which means they can travel along electrical wiring, d uh, vents, ducts, even through cracks and crevices in doors and windows. It makes them a very pernicious uh, creature. If uh, any unit within an apartment complex has bed bugs it's safe to say that they will very soon all have bed bugs within about 90 days uh, the eggs of bed bugs can live uh, at room temperature for over 18 months um, the adult bed bugs can exist some some estimates have it it's close to six months unmolested uh, that's not been substantiated um, the key to eradicating bed bugs is early detection. If you have uh, an infestation where bed bugs are uh, everywhere within your mattress or in your apartment, uh, you're probably going to need to seek out a, a PCL. If not, if you catch it early, then there are steps you're gonna, you can take and I'm going to teach you how to do that. First of all, you need to look, you have to know what to look for. Uh, many people are in denial that they have bed bugs. Uh, they wake up, there's, they're itching a little, uh, they're a little uncomfortable, and they want to blame it on fleas, or they want to say it was mosquito bites or something like that. There is a negative social stigma that's still attached to bed bugs. We associate them typically with people who, uh, lower income people who live in flop houses or uh, uh, places of Ill, Ill repute. Uh, so that is the tendency for people who f initially have bed bugs to try to downplay it as uh, that they're not that, that, that uh, issue. Um, one of the most telltale or indicative signs of bed bug infestation is the side of your mattress will have uh, vertical streaks. Uh, this is the uh, leftover from the bed bug excrement. The, the feces, if, if you will, is nothing more than blood. So it comes out black, uh, oftentimes almost uh, reddish black, and uh, there'll be vertical lines uh, depicting their, their method of travel. Uh, contrary to popular belief, bed bugs typically um, hang out in, during the beginning stages of the infestation. You'll find them in the box spring mattress at the very bottom of your, your bed. Uh, no one really is sure why, but they don't hang out within your sheets. They, they typically will leave the sheets after they've fed on you and return to the bottom of your bed. Uh, they typically live in a, in a hive mentality. Uh, they stick together. I'm not a pest control officer, so I, I, I can't tell you exactly what the mentality of it is. But for some reason, they like to group together and um, they hang out at the very bottom of the bed. Uh, in the beginning stages of the infestation and that's important if you can catch it early and you can recognize that you may have a problem then you can take steps to do to deal with it now bed bugs like any arthropod as I mentioned before have an exoskeleton uh, which is essentially a uh, an outer shell uh, that in that they respirate through and it protects their body their soft tissue inside uh, instead of having a skeleton inside like we have. Um, that exoskeleton is essentially their method of breathing. and It's their lungs, if you will. They respirate through that. For that, matter, for that reason, you can use a mechanical insecticide 
like this one here, get you a good look at it. This has what is known as diomaceous earth, or DE, and all this is really is a very fine powder made up of ground algae, dinosaur algae to be exact, uh, fossilized algae, and it's, it's such a fine powder. Somebody told me it was 20 microns, but it's very fine, and it's fine enough that it will clog the pores of the exoskeleton on the outside of the bed bug and as, essentially asphyx, asphyxiate them. Uh, uh, somebody uh, gave an analogy of it's like eating shards of glass to them. Um, I recommend not buying a very expensive commercial uh, insecticide like this. These do not work. I hit a bed bug the other day straight in his face and he kept kept scurrying away. Let me tell you something. Let me show you something that does work and it's probably the, the PCOs don't want you to know about it. Very simple. Clorox makes a, a, a very good product called uh, Cleanup. This is usually used to clean bathrooms and, and things of that, but it has a very good spray mechanism, and this is important because you're going to spray a ton of it. And let me show you what you're going to do. You are going to get your mattress on end. You're going to lift the entire mattress up. At the very bottom of the box spring, you're going to rip out that uh, lining on the bottom side of your box mattress and you are going to spray this until you like you've never sprayed before on everything under that box spring until it's sopping wet if you can't stand the smell of chlorine if, if that gives you difficulty then I suggest you open up some windows and you make sure that uh, or, or have someone else do it I guarantee you you this the smell of the unpleasant smell of this will be a lot better to deal with than not being able to get some sleep I only have three minutes left so I better hurry up uh, you want to spray consistently every day and I say that because those things are paper thin when they're not engorged with blood. The, there's a strong likelihood you are going to miss one spot that they have been hiding. If you spray every day uh, for a week or so, you are ensured that you're going to get a good coverage. And this stuff kills them instantly. Like I said, I hit one in the face dead on with this uh, very expensive. I think I paid $16 for this paid about three dollars for this I hit a bed bug head on with this and they do what I call as a pirouette they essentially lock up and they put their face down and they stick their butt in the air and it's game over they freeze like a statue and that is so gratifying if you've ever been a victim of bed bugs because they they are just the worst they get you when you're at your most uh, vulnerable and and they will they they're just an insidious thing but the truth of the matter is if you're poor and you can at least afford some of this. You may not be able to afford a, um, a PCO to come out to your house, but if you're poor and you can catch them early, use a combination of this diamaceous earth, something similar to this. Uh, be careful when you use this. This is very, very uh, fine powder. You want to use a respirator or something when you use it. Uh, you can develop conditions very similar. To, it's called silicosis. It's a lung uh, condition, um, much like what asbestos would do to you. It, it's, a, it's an irritant. You want to stay away from that. You don't want to kick it up a lot, and you want to be put it down in a well-ventilated area. Uh, this is going to take some time to work. I guarantee you it's going to take at least 48 hours, probably closer to four days before this the mechanical effects start clotting up their uh, exoskeleton. I got down to one minute. Get you some of this and spray like you've never sprayed before, and you can defeat these bed bugs. You can win this battle. And the fact of the matter is the PCOs don't want you to know it, but if you're consistent, you catch them early, and, and you just go after them with a dogged determination. You can win this fight against bed bugs. Uh, that's all I really have to say. If you have any questions, please post them to the site and we'll get to the bottom of it. Uh, one thing in parting, um, bed bug eggs can survive for up to 18 months at room temperature. Uh, so the fact that you may not, you may not, you may think you've gotten them, gotten rid of them, they can be back. And I, I uh, implore you to stay vigilant and keep that DE, this diamaceous earth, on a ring around your bed if you have a known infestation problem. Thank you. This is Joel 